my dad came here, and he came here to search for work. Then it, we, me, Samuel, and my brother, Berto, we were raised in Mexico for a couple of years. And then my mom started noticing that the stress like not, of not having our dad with us came to us. I mean, my little brother, Samuel, he used to have, like, he started losing a bit of hair because of the stress of, having not my, of not having my dad there. I, most of the times I would be home crying because I really wanted to see my dad, especially on Father's Day. My dad would just wanted us to have a better life than in Mexico because right now in Mexico, it's... Really violent. Really horrible. Right where we live in, in, our, country, in our state of Zacatecas, there has been pl plenty of violence and gangs there. So they, they knew, I think they knew that was going to happen. So they just wanted us to have a better life over here in the United States. And so that my dad can have better jobs and more opportunities for us over here. Our, um, our parents, they were, they are really, uh, they have a lot of high ex expectations for us. So whenever we go to church or, or we do something like it's out in public, they, they expect us to have good manners and dress nice, especially for church. Since I was little, I've been taught to go to church, um, believe in God. And then I've like, at first I was like that one kid that would just sleep through church because I didn't understand anything the, the um, priest was saying. But then once I got older and matured, I started realizing how this would tie in into my life and how this sometimes helped me through the good and bad times. I don't think of it as a tradition. I think of it of a legacy of our parents left behind for us. And my grandparents and my great-grandparents, it's no longer a tradition if you want to do it forever and ever. I would think of it as a legacy. It's really important because <clears throat> it uh, makes up of who you are and your identity and how you were raised in the past and how it could help raise your kids.